What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel, guys. One more day, one more day till Thanksgiving. But this is the day before, and we did get some amazing mods to go over. On consoles today, we got the Jakari W700, the Samsung SG TGX, the Oral Snowblower, which for some reason it is not showing up on my Xbox. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you guys is actually showing up. The Randon Vandalaria Dumper, which I probably just butchered that middle name. The Lizard Pompa Brazil, Homemade Trailer, Cedar 400, the Linder BF450, the Low Loader with 16 wheels, the New Holland Case IH Draper, and the Machine Shed with Workshop. Updates for today, the NMC Backbed Pack, the NMC Rambler Pack, the NMC Raptor Pack, the NMC Reaper Pack, that's a lot of NMCs, the Valmint 1580 Brazil, the Lizard Cret, and yes, Bucks County PA is back, and it does require a new save, guys. And then the last one is the JCB Fast Track 3200 Extra. Let's roll that intro and let's get into these mods. Here we go. Okay, the first one to go over is the Jakari W700. That actually sounds like it's something from Game of Thrones. But anyways, it is $88,000. It is 21 slots, holds up to 6,500 liters. It does require 170 horsepower and it has 7.0 working meters. And of course, this does direct seeding. So that means you don't need to plow it or cultivate it before. Options on this one. Let's see, there is no options on this one. Let's take a look at this one in game. Okay, so here we are in game and there is the Jakari right there. Really nice cedar right here. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook it up and take a look at it. So let's get in the John Deere. Okay, there's that. Okay, let me look back here. It looks like all the hoses were connected. So that looks good. Let's unfold it. So there it looks like unfold it. Okay, really nice. It looks like it also has ridge markers too. Uh, let me actually pull this up real quick. Uh, yep, ridge markers. They look like they all work. That's how you open up with some seed in there, seed and fertilizer. Uh, of course, it does weeds, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, oil seed radish, grass, and back to wheat again. Let's turn this off real quick and let's just turn the worker on so you guys can see it seeding. And there it is. Really, really nice seeder. Also, starting next week, guys, I'll be actually moving the uh, the mod showcase map over to No Man's Land, where I'm actually going to be do making like a little showcase area. So it's a lot easier to show off these mods. Okay, let's get into the next mod. Okay, the next mod is the Samson SG TGX. And this goes, of course, with the class of Zerion tractor. That is a mod. These are nine slots a piece, holds up to 28,000 liters, uh, 250 horsepower is required. And of course, these do slurry or digest it, digest it. Sorry, I can't even speak. Okay, let's see the options on these. We got main color, any color, rim color, any color, wheel brand, trailboard, Michelin, Midas, or Nokian. Trailboard, you got standard or wide. I think it's the same thing with the Michelin. Yes, same thing with the Michelin. Uh, attach your type, you have the 3000, the 4500, and then back to the 3000. On this one, let's see, I don't see any differences with this one. Uh, it also holds the same amount. So yeah, there is the Samson SG TGX. Okay, and this next one, we got another trailer, another Randon. I really like these. Uh, this is the Randon Dumper Vandalia. I believe I just butchered that name. It is 96,000. It is 11 slots, can hold anything, as you guys can see from the icons. Holds up to 65,000 liters. Pretty big, uh, actually, uh, tipper right here. Uh, let's see, options on this one. Rim color, any color. Main color, any color, so you know what we can do. We can put Chance's Pink on there. I mean, he's going to love it. Uh, design you have the short mud guard right there you have the long mud guard or the back to short right there so that is the randon right there and after that one we have a new truck this is the lizard pompa of brazil thirty-two thousand dollars. top speed is 74 miles an hour it is 83 horsepower and is eight slots options on this main color any color uh design color any color and then design you have standard design you have red gray blue pink purple green orange golden and then back to standard right there it almost looks like a forward a little bit let's actually take a look at this in game okay and so here we are in game there they are you see that does look like a forward to me <laughs> okay let's get in it and take a look at the options let's put this thing up real quick 
Okay, got two cameras. Uh, let's see. You can open up the door. So I think this one might be one of the first cards you can actually open up the door with. Unfold should be up. Yep, that opens that up. Uh, let's see, you got tension belts. What does this one do? Oh, you can open up the passion door. Come on, get in, dude. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Here is the interior. Really nice interior. Okay, let's turn it on. Ooh, that is a very beefy sound truck right there. Lights, two sets of lights. Turn signals. Yep. Okay. I'm going to be quiet so you guys can hear the engine real quick. Okay, there we go right there. Remember, top speed is 75 miles an hour. Okay, so that right there is the uh, Lizard Papa Brazil. Ooh, didn't hit it. Look at that. Look at that right there. That is perfect stopping. Okay, let's get to the next mod. Okay, now we have the homemade trailer. It's 18,000, it is 11 slots, holds up to 38,500 liters. And as you guys can see on this one, this tipper can pretty much carry anything too. The only bad thing about this thing I can see right now is it is a dolly trailer. And you know me and how much I love dolly trailers. Wow, look at the inside of that, wow. Okay, but main color, we got either black or we got red. Uh, let's see, design color, you got white. So actually pretty much any color. Looks good like that. I just don't like the dolly trailers. Okay, so there is the homemade trailer. And the next one after that one we have is the Cedar 400. It's $4,000, it is three slots. Uh, it does require 50 horsepower, 6.0 working meters. And of course this just does seating. And this is not a direct seater. Uh, let's see options on this one you can only change the main color from red to gray and that is it for that one okay now we have a new tractor and this is the linder bf 450 fifteen thousand dollars it is only four slots so really low in the slot count 50 horsepower for this one options you got design color it looks like just grays or blacks uh looks like it changes what does it change hold on let me go back uh looks like it maybe just changed the wheels i don't know actually what it changed Okay, yeah, it changed actually where the engine and stuff is. Uh, wheel setup, we got standard, you got wide tires, and you got narrow tires. Uh, let's actually take a look at this in game. Okay, so there it is in game, looks really good. The only thing I would suggest I would like to see on this thing is a front loader. It'd be nice to have a front loader on this. This would be a very good farmyard tractor. Uh, let's get in it real quick. Uh, let's turn this on. Okay, so two cameras, of course. There's the horn. And that is it on that. Here is the interior, as you guys can see. Okay, let me, uh, everything moves right. Okay, let's turn the engine on. Ooh, that engine sound. <laughs> okay, lights. One set of lights. Does this thing turn on? Doesn't. Oh. Got turn signals? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can actually hear the engine. It's loud in my headphones. Okay, so there is the engine sound. Okay, that is, this is a nice tractor. I like the sounds on it. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Let's get to that next mod. Okay, and now we have the low loader with 16 wheels. This is 28,023 slots. A little bit high on that slot count, wow. Uh, let's see, options on this one. We got main color, any color, rim color, any color. Let's see, mud flap configuration. We have the type one lizard. Uh, you have type 2 lizard, you have the type 1 trex, the type 2 trex, and then back to the lizard. Ramp configuration, you have type 1. The ramp looks amazing on this thing. You have type 2, uh, type 1 on that one. Okay, so that is the low loader with 16 wheels. We got one more regular mod to go over, so let's get into it. And here they are. This is the New Holland Case IH Draper, which actually includes, let's see, one, two, three, three uh, New Holland ones, and then one, two, three uh, case uh, headers. Uh, ranging all the way from 59,000 all the way to 79,000. These are all 12 slots, and they also range from nine working meters all the way up to 12.2 working meters. Options on this, there is no options on these. 
Okay, let's get into the only placeable for today. So let's go over to the placeable section. Let's go over to the shed section. And there it is right there. This thing looks huge. This is the machine shed with workshop, 29 slots, $75,000. It is $50 a day. So let me see if I can find a place to put this. Yeah, let's put this thing over here. So let's go ahead and put it right there and let's actually take a look at it in game. This thing looks amazing. Okay, so let's go over here. So it looks like, uh, can you open this door right here? Probably not, no. Uh, okay, uh, what about this door? Except for, uh, I think it needs to be a little bit taller. Yeah, I can't fit in the door. <laughs> okay, can these open up? Yes, they can. Really nice workshop. Yeah, that's a really nice workshop. Can that open? No, it can't. Okay, this looks good. Okay, let's go over here. Over here, we have a few places to put some more vehicles. So, really nice looking workshop. Is there a light switch? I don't see one. Nope. Okay, so this might come on automatically at night. Okay, so that is the machine shed with workshop. Next ones we got is, of course, the updates for today. So, let's get into the updates. Okay, so for the updates for today, these are actually going to be quite a lot. But the first one we got is the NMC back bed pack. What did this change? Fix some modules not giving shadows, add a ball hitch option for the fifth wheel bed, add tension belts for standard bed, add a fender color options, also rescaled all models and fixed attached joints. So there's that one. The next one we got is for the NMC Rambler pack. What did this change? Removed Rambler 1500, removed Rambler 3500, removed airline from fifth wheel option, added color options for lights, added new engine configs, added new wheel configs, added standard rim color chrome, added custom sounds, added a couple more wheel configs, added fuel tank option to module, added ball hitch option to module, fixed scale on all models, fixed wheels turning too slow at high speed, fixed side steps not sticking out far enough, fixed collision mask, fixed wheels not giving shadow, Fixed suspension four wheels, fixed mirrors, change name for NMC Super Engine to built 5.9 L12V, and raised desk version 253. So that's for the NMC Rambler pack. Now the NMC Raptor pack. What did this change? Remove the Raptor 1500, remove the Raptor 3500, and then pretty much all the other ones you just heard me change, he did it for that one too. Okay, the NMC Reaper pack, the same thing. Remove the Reaper 1500 and remove the Reaper 3500 and then the same things for those. So that is the NMC pack. So make sure you guys do update those. The next one we got is for the Velmet 1580 Brazil. What did this change? Original brand, rice wheels, front loader light, original sounds, optional weight, and they animated the hand throttle on that one. The next one we have is for the Lizard Kretz. What did this change? New colors, new decals, revised model, and that is it for that one. And then the big one right here, Bucks County PA. Yes, it has been released. Uh, let's see the change log on it. Fixed issue with swaths not showing. Fixed issue with placeables not being able to be placed. Fixed issue with tedding grass. Fixed several minor issues. And a new save game will be required. So make sure you guys do get a new save game. Okay, then we have one more update to go over, and that is for the JCB Fast Track 3200X. What did this change on this one? Crab steering, new details, and new configurations design. Okay, guys, so that is all the new mods and updates for today. Let me know down in the comment section below which one was your guys' favorite. I'm going to either have to say the Chikari, the Samson, or, of course, the Randon. Very, very good mods. Uh, so tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I will, of course, be doing videos, FS Daily News, and if we get new mods, I'll still be doing that video. Uh, and then, of course, today's schedule after this video will come out, FS Daily News, but that will be it. No live streams until Friday at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. So hopefully you guys have all have an amazing day. If you guys aren't able to catch tomorrow's FS Daily News or videos, happy Thanksgiving, guys, from my family to you. Uh, like always, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you guys do. Like always, have an all-state farmers. Peace.